Hello, I am alive. I'm alive. I just had COVID for three weeks. It's going around, apparently. You should wear a mask if you get on an airplane. It was maybe worth it to see my best friend Sophie, who recently moved to Barcelona, and that's what this video is. There is a little bit of travel content and a little bit of drawing on location, and I share some sketchbook spreads and stuff. And at the end of the video, I am gonna talk about my sketching supplies. I packed very minimally, I only brought a carry-on. I'm really happy with the supplies that I brought. For now, I hope that you enjoy vicariously going to Barcelona.
supposed to be a cow. Wow, I had a great time. I hope you had a great time. I love seeing different cities. I love how Barcelona is laid out. The public transport is insane. It's so easy to get around. We did see someone get robbed on our first day in the Gothic Quarter. A bunch of boys ran at this woman and stole her watch. She later informed us that it was a $3,000 Rolex. Maybe don't wear your Rolex. We felt safe the entire time that we were there except for that one moment. But I wanted to talk about my supplies that I brought with me. I basically brought just this Bagu sling bag as my everyday carry bag. In 2022, I went to Italy with my parents and I thought that I was going to do a bunch of painting. So I brought a bunch of gouache and a pocket watercolor palette and I ended up not using any of it. I basically just used black pen in this little tiny notebook that I got at the airport because it was just way easier to carry around with me than like a big sketchbook. So all of my sketching supplies are contained in this little stack of three things. And sometimes I would just bring my sketchbook and this pencil palette. The sketchbook is a Art Creations sketchbook from Talons. I love these sketchbooks. They're really inexpensive. This one is about seven US dollars. I got another one while I was in Barcelona for four euros. So yeah, if you live in Europe, four euros. Why is the United States so expensive? What's going on there? I have been using this like more standard sketchbook size for a long time, but this is just like so much more portable. It fits in my bag. This paper is really nice. It is like cheap enough where you don't feel bad drawing in it, but you can also use wet media 
and it won't completely fall apart. So that's nice. I talked about this in my show and tell video, but I got this little pencil pouch. It's just like so unbelievably cute. I actually can't handle it. It's like a tiny cat. I don't know. I just wanted something kind of small and compact. These are all of the things that I brought. I actually didn't bring this, but I brought all these other things. So I basically bought, brought like the bare minimum of sketching supplies. This Tombow brush pen in the color 620. I really like this for like grayed down shadows or like skies and stuff. I like to kind of like lay down a base color with this and then you can kind of go on top of it with the new colors or with any other tool. This red pen is a Pentel sign pen. It's kind of like a juicier felt tip pen and I really like this for just line drawings. This is a Pentel brush pen. I love these things. They're just like super brushy and expressive and you can also just get like big areas of dark color while also getting like really thin lines. It's just like a nice tool to have and it makes everything that you're drawing look just a lot more loose and expressive. And then I have this little Stadler, or no, Stabilo. It's like got this really fine point and I like the aesthetics of this little like pen or pencil vibe. And then I bought these at a stationery store in Barcelona in the Gracia neighborhood. I don't know the name of the store, but it is a Penco Tactic Writer 0.5. And I've just never seen these before and I love the color and I love the design of it. Um, and it's kind of the same idea. It's just like a fine point marker. And I got this in green and then also in red. The other pen that I've really been loving is this Le Pen, the Le Pen Flex. And I really want to get more of these because I really like this like style of felt tip pen. It's also really light and really small, which is perfect for putting in your bag. And then I also have a classic Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen, which is a just basic black pen. I find that sometimes I want a little bit more control when I'm drawing with this brush pen. So these two go hand in hand for me. And then I have these two water brushes. I don't use these very often, but I did use them a couple times. Um, with the Neo colors, you can use just a little bit of this and then kind of like smudge it around. So that's kind of nice. And then I have this other water brush pen and that is like a super fine tip. And yeah, I brought all these little things with me in here. So that was nice for just like quick on the go sketching. While I was there, I actually got this little Art Nouveau chocolate box from just like a gas station. And I have been looking for a tin like this to hold these Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2s, which are these water soluble pastels. They're not oil pastels, more like a crayon. I've really been enjoying just laying down like one big block of color with one of these or kind of using them like watercolor paint because they are water soluble. I bought the basic set of primaries a while ago and then I've just been kind of like going in every time I go to the art supply store while I was in Barcelona because art supplies were a lot less expensive there. I bought these Pentel oil pastels that are fluorescent colors. They look like this. You can buy them from Blick. I like them. They're very fluorescent. As you can see, in some of the sketchbook scans like this one. They do not scan well. My scanner hates them. So this photo is actually like a doctored image of a photo that I took with my iPhone combined with a the scan. They're so bright, they actually kind of like hurt your eyes to look at. But yeah, it was a really fun trip. I feel really inspired. I am just now getting back to somewhat normal after being sick. It would mean a lot to me if you like this video and comment on it to kind of like boost it in the algorithm since I haven't been posting for a while. If you just want to comment like something, anything, it doesn't matter what, just tell me about your day. I hope you guys are doing well. Well, I hope to be back with a regular studio vlog very soon. I really want to work on some paintings. I have a bunch of primed empty panels and all the paintings in here are, there's, there's no paintings in my studio right now, so I feel like a fraud. You can also buy prints on my online shop. They're up there all the time. You can also join my Patreon where I post a monthly podcast and I send out a poster, a poster, a postcard and a sticker every single month. And this is what I made for June. I hope you're surviving the summer heat. I am barely surviving. I need to turn on my little window AC unit. Shout out to Adam for helping me install it just now. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. See you in a little bit. Bye.